Easy peeps, welcome to another episode. I've started from the bottom, the road to glory. Now you can see we've got a couple of additions. It takes a bit of a turn in after this, after we've completed the video. So let me tell you what we started off by doing. We purchased a couple of additional players. First off, we purchased Jordi Alba as a left back. 297 we paid, not bad at all. I think that was quite a good deal. I think he was going, you know, I thought he was going to be amazing. Um, his stats look absolutely stunning. This is, you know, yeah. Then we purchased Kyle Walker. Same thing. I thought, right, this is definitely going to be. We paid 522 for Kyle Walker. Uh, yeah. And then we went into the weekend league with this team. Absolutely stunning. The only person that let us down was Jordi Alba. But we will get to that after we've got to the main part of this video right so then we've got a new team of the season which is partly to blame in the Bundesliga with the new team of the season comes new weekly objectives we've of course got the rest of the world 20 which we shall get to in a moment we've got this one for a loan Lewandowski we've got this one for three friendly seasons to earn a premium players pack I think or premium goal pack we've got a squad battles one uh 10 can well, assist 10 goals with defenders in squad battles. And then we've got this kit, which I've already got because I was giving this away anyway, uh, if you had FIFA 17. And then you just need to play 15 matches across any foot mode to get a 15 game loan Sane. Right, so on to the rest of the world challenge. This week you need to win five online seasons games and have a Liga NOS player score in each of those games. We're going to go with Bruno Fernandes. We've had him a while. We paid 14,000 coins for him. So basically, the idea is you score a goal with Bruno. This is what we're going to do. Or with your league and us player. And then the minute he scored a goal, we're just going to sub him off and try and win the game. And then we're going to try and do this five different times. To get chemistry, we've got to play Ruben Nevers as well. First time we've uh, tried him this, this year. Looks okay. Not bad at all. First up, we've got Nos goal, troll name thinking that he's going to batter everybody with his 96 Ronaldo and his Chucky Lozano. Clearly calling it that to try and get somebody to like get into a boosty game with him and then he, you know, then you see 96 Ronaldo and you're supposed to be all shocked. But who cares, man? Bruno Fernandes in the first game does a nice little pass onto Del Piero and we go 1-0 up on that. But we're looking for goals with Bruno, remember? And he gets a stormer in the first game. A banger from outside of the box as we go 2-1 up just before 70 minutes. So we've got our Liga NOS goal in this. All we need to do now is win the game. So we take him off, bring on a few players, hold out the game, and we manage to get ourselves another goal with Rio Ferdinand just before the end and win 3-1. He's obviously going for the same kind of thing. The minute he scores a goal, he subs those two players off. And that's basically the gist. You get your one goal with Liga NOS, then it's an all-out fight to try and win the game. So we start off going 1-0 down. He did score with his Liga NOS player, but we return the favour with our Liga NOS player. So on the 30th minute, it's 1-1, all to play for. And then everybody brings on their best players. So then we're just trying to see who can get the win there. And we've got Lozano. We've got a Hully. We're doing all right, man. And Lozano gets himself a goal on the 36th minute. And we go 2-1 up. Pretty decent, not bad at all. He was a great player as well. Played really, really well, really strong. Uh, then we managed to keep on going. We keep we kept attacking him. We and um, we got another one just before the 40th minute, and that must have lost his head because he ended up rage quitting. Now onto this one. He's just trying to play Division One and obviously do his best and win it. He's got an okay team. He's two Pat Paul Premier League players. Obviously, well I don't know who his other one was because Ben Davis was a DKT, so he must be good enough to win a DKT. But we've got Bruno Fernandes. Who scores another one. So he comes off again. We bring on over a collection of Lozano, Son or somebody like that. And we just try and ride it out so that we can try and win. This time we've brought on Sterling. We do go a goal. Uh, we do concede a goal uh, to make it 1-1. But we're trying to get it back. As Sterling tries a shot there. But eventually it falls to Son. And we go 2-1 up on the 42nd minute. After he has scored an equaliser. And believe it or not. He did actually bring on a uh, Liga NOS player. Which seemed a bit strange. And then finally we've got this team. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Let me talk. Why don't you let me talk? Uh, ben Davies, David Silva, Rooney, Del Piero and 84 Sons. So he's quite a way behind with the Sons. Uh, but we managed to go 1-0 up quite early on in this one. 
Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't with our Bruno Fernandes. It was with our Del Piero. But it's still a win. So we, primarily we need to win the games. Then we need to get lucky to see if we can actually score with our Liga NOS player. We're on the attack again on the 47th minute. Bruno, 1-2 in it with Son. He keeps on running. So now we need to bang it. And he gets himself another one. Not a bad card, this man. Uh, I think we paid 14. And then we list him on the market for about 21. And I think I believe that was the cheapest. So if you haven't got a uh, Liga NOS player, the Bruno Fernandes for around about 20 if somebody's undercut, underbid, I'm sure. That's not bad, man. You get the achievement out of the way and you get yourself. All you got to do is win five games and score with him in each of those wins. And you get yourself a free team of the season player. Not bad at all. Son, 3-1 on the 67th minute after a nice little higgledy-piggledy on the outside of the box. It's just to seal the deal. So we've definitely got this one wrapped up. But we don't stop. We definitely want to seal the deal. And we get a corner on the 88th minute. We bang it in. See how Sonny's on corners. He's all right. He's all right. 4-1. Then, unfortunately, just before the end of the game, the kid had obviously put his control down and he kind of gave up. We took the ball off him. Sterling carried on running, shot it against the keeper, but then got the rebound himself and we won this one 5-1. So a convincing victory, but more importantly, we got the goal in that game with Bruno Fernandes. So that means we have completed this week's rest of the world challenge before we go and open it let's go and just clear a couple of these but you can see there so we've done the rest of the world 20 we've also completed five out of the 15 games to get the loan sarne but i'm not really fussed about that uh, more importantly we've got ourselves another team of the season in morega not bad at all you're looking at his card though it, it, it looks a bit of a false good card, if that makes sense. He's got 94 pace and 91 shooting with 93 physical. So you look at the front of it and you go, man, that's amazing. But he's only got a three-star weak foot. And what was that? A one or two-star skills. And his balance is only 53. Uh, all right, composure. Like, he could probably do a little bit of a job here for you. But if you want him to be your main talisman, I don't think he's going to cut it. So he will be rinsed through an SBC straight away. Now, this is where it gets a bit weird. So the Bundesliga uh, team of the season come out. Everybody's seen the stats for uh, the Goretzka. So basically, in my mind, I was thinking, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of De Bruyne because I think De Bruyne's price is going to absolutely tank. So I got rid of him for 819, lost about, what, 15,000 coins on him. Jordi Alba we got rid of for a 301. That's because I played five games of foot champions with Jordi Alba and I didn't really like him. So he's gone for purposes. And then we got rid of Walker for the same reason that I believe a lot of people are buying Walker to link with De Bruyne. And then that'll be the reason that a lot of people have purchased Kimmich and Goretzka. So I got rid of Walker and I got rid of De Bruyne because I thought their prices were going to drop because everybody was trying to be getting Kimmich and... Um, uh, Goretzka and then the idea was to buy them back at a lower price we did end up buying them back and yes they were at a slightly lower price than what we originally paid for De Bruyne and slightly a lower price for what we originally paid for uh, Kyle Walker but because the prices for Goretzka and Kimmich come out at way above what anybody was expecting I mean a million coins 900,000 coins for Goretzka 400 450 for Kimmich. That's a lot of money for those cards. So we ended up losing all in all, buying uh, De Bruyne, buying Walker, and then selling them, and then rebuying them back again. We probably lost around about 20,000 coins, give or take, on those, tran um, those transactions, probably 25,000 coins. And then we lost the tax on, Ala on Jordi Alba. I don't mind losing the tax on Jordi Alba because I desperately wanted to try him. I don't think that card's worth 300,000 coins. If we can pick Jordi Alba up again for about 200,000, I might just do it. But for 300,000 coins, I don't, I can't see 280,000 coin difference between him and Alexandro. I genuinely can't. Walker, I absolutely love. That is a great card. A bit silly to sell him, but I thought he was going to tank. We sold him about a couple of hours before the Bundesliga tots come out. Same with De Bruyne. Uh, I played a few games on Twitch and then the minute I played my five games, I thought, right, I'm going to list these cards now because these are going to tank. And they just didn't tank. Perhaps it's because obviously the weekend league, people want to keep hold of them. So whether they tank in the, in, you know, in the upcoming weeks, probably, but every card's going to tank when the World Cup mode comes out anyway. So it was a bit of a shame and then I really, I needed them back because I want to finish this weekend's foot champions. So yeah. 
that's where we're at. Is it, you know, a little bit of a mistake here and there, but one of the mistakes was losing coins on Jordi Alba. I knew I was going to do that. I wanted to test him. I don't mind that. But a bit of a mistake on my part by losing the, the 25,000 or whatever it is coins on selling and rebuying back Kevin De Bruyne and Walker. The market just didn't act as I thought it was going to act. Oh, well, you watch Goretzka now be 400,000 coins. <laughs> Obviously, it's because of the uh, Tots SBC hadn't come out yet, but we can't wait till Sunday because we need to play foot champions. But that is it for today's episode. So we've got ourselves a new Tots card in Morega. We've bought um, Kyle Walker. We've resold. We sold Kyle Walker. We've rebought Kyle Walker. Good times. Happy, happy times. Obviously, last episode, we bought um, Kevin De Bruyne. We sold Kevin De Bruyne. We've repurchased him back. Good, good times. And this is what we are rocking so far. This is the team that we're going to play in our remaining 35 games of foot champions. So far, we are 5-0. and Fingers crossed we go 6-0. and <laughs> But that is it. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Do all of that good stuff. If you could hit that thumbs up button as well, that would be greatly appreciated. And also give my Twitch a follow because I would love some more followers. And I'd love to see some of you guys that are watching my videos over on Twitch when I stream. To make, make the chat a little bit easier. That would be really great. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in a bit.